Energy had also spent time in Hamilton County today, hearing from customers frustrated about potential rate hikes. As CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara explains, residents had the chance to speak out tonight in front of the commission that will decide if bills go up next year. Duke Energy customers are pushing back on a proposed 16% rate hike, including the mayor of Westfield, who's urging the company to explore alternatives. I don't mind uh, carrying the baton for the entire state of Indiana if I have to. I just, it's the right fight. Duke Energy says it's invested more than one and a half billion dollars in strengthening the power grid and keeping up with the rapid growth of places like Hamilton County. But Westfield Mayor Scott Willis says that's no excuse for asking the average customer to cough up an extra $27 on their monthly bill. When you see 263% increase in profits uh, and you're asking, oh, by the way, for a more of an increase, I think there's a buffer there to invest and keep up with the growth in Hamilton County without constantly going to the well and asking for more money. Right now, state utility officials are hearing from the public before making a final decision likely early next year. People who live on a fixed income cannot afford it. Uh, they're having to choose between uh, heat and electricity and food and medicine. Customers have also raised environmental concerns since Duke proposed the increase back in April. The only breaks that can stop this, if you don't do something, the future of our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren are going to pay. A spokesperson for Duke says the company is aiming to transition away from coal by 2035. Our ultimate responsibility is reliable power. And so we have to balance energy that can be dispatched and operate 24 hours a day with renewable energy that is also weather dependent. She added that the company is aware of the financial pressures people are facing, but believes an increase will be necessary as technology advances and communities continue to grow. We don't take making a rate request lightly, and we know that customers expect us to do everything we can to keep bills as low as possible. And so since 2020, we have held the line and kept operating day-to-day -day operating costs flat. If you missed today's hearing but still want to make your voice heard, the OUCC will continue accepting written comments through July 5th. Reporting in Fishers, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.